whoever said this was easy? Co-hosting on KISS 92.5. I mean, I did my research. I read a newspaper for the first time in my entire life. I brought ten bits for Maury, that little bastard. I hope they like me. I hope I do a good job. Um, okay, so here's what's happening. I'm going to bring you in now. Uh, Mocha Devo ready. Uh, we're about to do um, the top hour, okay. which is like going into the 8 o'clock, so you'll be a part of that as well, okay? okay. Are you nervous? No, you should have been the host. You make me look tall. Everybody else How does that help? <laughs> so it's just right here. Everybody else thinks I'm so short. All right, so bring your A game. A lot of upbeat. I don't action, have an A game. A lot of fun. Yeah. Here we go. So it's yeah. Devo, you already met Mocha. Oh, shoot. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here, have a seat over here, okay? Those are mine. Court greedy. <laughs> Three <laughs> seconds on. I'll see you again, buddy. Have a seat over <laughs> here, okay? Hey, good morning. It's 7.59. This is the Roz and Mocha Show. It's KISS 92.5 Toronto's number one hit music station. Devo Brown filling in for Roz. Okay. Uh, the Bachelor Canada. Brad Smith is here right now. Good morning. How's it going, guys? Doing good. How are you? I was terrified you guys weren't going to have me back in fear that Maury was going to commit <laughs> sex crimes towards me. <laughs> we are still scared of that. Don't go to the show uh, on a weekly basis. Are you at home watching the show like everybody else by yourself? Are you watching it with friends? Are you watching it with family? I'm watching it in a very, very dark room. By yourself. Hello? Candles, yeah. oils, you know, really get in the mood. Yeah. No. <laughs> For me, I actually try to watch it with people that uh, created the show, like uh, the casting director and uh, the DP. People who know the outcome, know the ending, yeah. and mm -hmm. stuff. Because it's, it's, man, it's insecure to watch yourself on TV, especially when you have half the country thinking that you have the, the diction of a 12-year-old with cute <laughs> with cute and nice dress being the only things that can... Oh, nice dress! You're so cute! <laughs> the only thing that comes out of my mouth is like, well... Jeez, my, I'm, so it's, for me, it's important to watch it with people that make me feel comfortable. Uh, during, uh, you know, every Wednesday night when the show is on City TV, how much of that time, for the hour and a half, is your phone blowing up with text messages or just from, yeah. you know, from your friends yeah. or from your family asking you questions? The first show was ridiculous. I legitimately looked down and I had like a hundred text messages. I, like, I don't even know a hundred people who like me, you know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, but, but for me, it's hilarious because it's the first time in three months since we finished shooting the show that I get to see people's opinions. Yeah. So they're like, oh my God, this girl was up, you know, and I'm right. like, oh, okay, well, uh, <laughs> maybe you're talking about my, you know. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, but it's interesting to see because it's been so closed off to everybody else. Like I have an N NDA that says like, I can't talk to anybody or else wow. I'll be serving, you know. You know, chicken in Thailand for the next six years. <laughs> have, have any of the uh, the, the cast-offs from, from Bachelor Canada so far uh, reached out to you that <laughs> no, uh, we, they, the, there's there's contracts on either side that says that there's no communication. Really? Until, oh yeah, not until so everything's not over. not until they they like to call it the women tell all. I call it the women rip Brad. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Brad Smith, the Bachelor Canada is here inside the Kiss ninety two five studios. You're hanging out for the full hour. We are actually going to put you to work. Seriously? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Okay, Toronto weather. Tonight, clear, low near 1, patchy frost. Saturday, mainly cloudy. Rain for the evening, high near 12, low near 10. Sunday, windy, windy with showers and a chance of thunderstorms and mild. High near 20, low near 10. Right now it's 4, and I didn't need a thermometer to tell you that. I could see uh, uh, Dan Mori's nipples through his shirt. <laughs> Marla from Toronto, go ahead, it's Brad. Hi. How's it going? Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan. You're the one. I'm a huge fan. You seem like the like genuinely the most amazing guy. Aww. Um, yeah, I've I've never ever witnessed a guy like you before and I'm so proud to have finally seen one. Oh, that's and so I nice. just wanted to ask, I'm not trying to be mean at all. Okay. I knew someone else called in about this, but I was just trying to ask um I was a little confused as to how you didn't see how fake Whitney was. Well, you have to understand, like, I, when I'm, I don't get to see her interactions with the girls, right? All I get to see is, like, the seven hours or hour, however long our dates are together. So for, yeah. me, for me, it's easy for her, you know, and I can say this because I know her a little bit, is that, you know, she acts a lot differently around me than she does around the girls. So oh, I don't, oh, get, yeah. I don't yeah. get to see that, you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I wish. Or either that or I'm just the most aloof, dumb person you've ever met in your life, you know? <laughs> No, see, that's why. You don't seem like you are. Oh, I appreciate it. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Right? The set director. <laughs> yeah. hey, whoever wants to make out with me, I'm free. Yeah. And, uh, no, but I, I, didn't, I didn't go overboard. I didn't, you know, I, I kissed one girl the first night, which was against probably what I, my game plan, but mm -hmm. I, I, was, I, I was happy with everything I did. Did you have a conversation with your folks before the show went to air, after knowing um, 
the outcome and what was filmed and what could possibly get aired. Did you have a conversation with your folks just to set them up for it and say, hey, look, here's some of the stuff that you're going to see on television? Uh, no, I think I'm gonna, I know which episode stuff is going to come out, which is unique to pretty much everybody who knows me. Yeah. So it's stuff that I've kept close to my heart and stuff that I haven't said. So I'll have that conversation when it comes to it. But, you know, my parents... I mean, my dad knows that I'm a bit of a dum dum, you know. He's not. He, I'm not fooling him on that one. So, he, he, my parents are the type of people that no matter what, they're gonna look at me and be like, "Okay, what's your next step?" Because uh, yeah. they, they support everything I do. So, Raza Mocha Show. We got to wrap things up. Taylor K is coming up next. Uh, Devo Brown in here filling in for Roz, who's on assignment for ET Canada. Back with us on Commercial Free Monday. Devo, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for having me, man. What did you learn today? I learned that Roz is right. Brad Smith is not a douchebag. <laughs> yes, turning one head at a time. <laughs> Brad Smith from Bachelor Canada, thank you so much for hanging out for the oh. full hour here on Kiss 92.5. My pleasure, man. Uh, what did you learn today? Man, radio is fast-paced. Yeah, dude. Nobody edits sound clips like you do, man. Why, thank you. Uh, what I learned <laughs> is that for the entire day so far, I have not yelled out it's Friday yet. Mm-hmm. And been getting some questions from the people hell, man? on Twitter. So I think I should yell out it's Friday, and then Brad Smith should yell out it's Friday, and we'll see who the It's Friday champ officially is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the left corner right now, Mocha. It's Friday! <laughs> oh, man! Brad Smith in the right corner, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Let's go! It's Friday!